I'm Tracy Moore from CityLine. It's not something we talk about, but infertility impacts more people than you think. Health Canada finds roughly 16% of couples will experience infertility. Entertainment City's Terry Hart opens up for the first time publicly on our City Line Reel special about her heart-wrenching journey to have a child. Is you get really mad at your body. You get really mad at it not doing what it's just supposed to do. We lost five pregnancies. Uh, we have five miscarriages. My final miscarriage was into my second trimester, which uh, complicated things medically. And um, at that point, we had started a process of adoption. I mean, the emotional and the financial were crippling. And I had to, I had to recognize that there were other aspects of my life that were suffering. And I'm a full person. I remember distinctly one time being in my office and getting that call between one and two o'clock at the fertility clinic, thinking I was pregnant, calling not pregnant, and called my husband and I just said, I've messed it all up. I've messed my whole life up. This is the only thing I wanted. And I couldn't do anything to control it. This is an emotional journey that I think most of us, we, we look at it, we, we, we feel it for you. There are so many things that people say and they're not thinking like, hey, do you have kids? How come you haven't, uh, how come you're not having kids yet? It's interesting, you know, that simple question, and we ask people that question all the time, especially to women, oh, do you have kids? Um, it's usually question number one or question number two. We need to be better as a society. We need to understand that, I mean, it's an epidemic. Yeah. Infertility is an epidemic. It is all-encompassing. Places of business need to understand it differently. Families need to understand it differently. Mm -hmm. Friends need to understand it differently. We need to start talking about how we're dealing with this for every aspect of a woman's life because when you're in it, Trace, it's the only thing that is happening to you. How are you like this? How do you survive this? and you're happy and brilliant and intelligent and doing amazing things in the world. What did you use as a tool to get through it? I'm, uh, this isn't the only aspect of my life. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'll live with the sadness and disappointment and that's a part of that. But I also have a really brilliant life. Mm -hmm. I have a fun life. I have a wonderful family. I have a husband who is beyond supportive uh, with me in mm -hmm. all of this. And it's not going to be the only thing that defines me. This is the first time I've talked about it publicly. Yeah. Um, that's why, it's, you know, a little teary. Um, even after all these years, a little teary. Mm -hmm. But it's not the only aspect to my life, just like you being a mom it's isn't the, the only, only aspect. aspect to you. And, and I think that now this is the conversation. Being a mom isn't the only thing that defines you. Not being a mom isn't the only thing that defines me. Mm -hmm. And really what defines us is just being good human beings to each other. We have been bombarded by your emails and social media posts about City Line Real, which is real talk from real women, elevating the conversation, talking truths, and being authentic. And we want to keep the conversation going and hear from our viewers with the hashtag City Line Real. City Line airs at 9 a.m. every morning here on City.